Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Today we'll be trying some paint pouring. I'll be doing a small tutorial for paint pouring and also a review on the fluid art kit by Camel. The kit consists of a canvas, four colors based on your series, and I'm using four paper cups so that I could put a canvas on it. And I'll be using a plastic cup wherein I'll be pouring my colors. I'll be using some Prussian blue, light blue, white and turquoise blue. So in this plastic cup I will be pouring my colors in and I will also be using an artist picture varnish to spray it over whenever my paint is dried. You could also use another small canvas if you have leftover paint or you could use a stretched canvas so that you could put it directly on the wall. This kit also has an apron to wear if you don't want to get paint on your clothes. So I'll be pouring all these colors into the cup. You could use two different cups to uh, pour in two two colors in each cup. Make sure you tilt the cup whenever you are pouring your colors. If you don't do that, it might end up smudging in the cup itself and you won't get the desired results whenever you pour in your colors on your canvas directly. I'm just pouring in the colors randomly but I'm making sure that I'll have a light color between two dark colors. You could use a white or light blue in between turquoise blue and Prussian blue. You could do it randomly, there is no specific order in which you have to go like light to dark or dark to light, you can go any way you want. But if you want to have some highlights showing up in your painting, you could add a light color in between two dark colors. So far I think the kit is very good but I would love if the paint is a little bit thinner. I mean it's very thick, it might be a problem whenever you're uh, trying to tilt your canvas and maybe it won't spread that good. It would if you add uh, some acrylic pouring medium into the kit but since I'm using the kit as a whole, I won't be adding any kind of medium to it. I'm using an ice cream stick to scrape off all the leftover paint from the cup. If you want, you could leave it like that, but I didn't want to lose any of my paint in the cup. Just moving the canvas from right to left so that the paint can spread evenly and I had some white paint left over so I'm just uh, spreading it near the edges so that it can have more highlights in the painting. This kit has a lot of different color schemes based on your kit. Uh, I've bought the Aqua series. There is also a monochrome series or the sunset series. 
So my painting is finally done. I'll be cleaning the edges using my ice cream stick again. So that the edges will be very neat and clean if you want to frame it or you want to hang it on the wall. I'll add some white paint uh, wherever I want some highlights to pop up through the painting or wherever I feel there needs to be more paint in that area. Make sure to clean your hands thoroughly because you don't want paint on your hands whenever you are hanging the, hanging the painting on the wall. So I'm gonna just throw this away and be right back in a second. Right. So I've just put the canvas on a plastic wrap and this is how it looks. So it's finally done. I've given my signature in and I've sprayed some varnish on it for some luster. If you do like this video, please make sure to click on the thumb icon below to like the video. Click on share to share the video to your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below the video. And please feel free to leave your suggestions below. Mm -hmm.